Welcome back to the channel. Today, guys, I will let you in on the top 10 things you missed if you joined in 2022. Now, what I mean by that is, this list consists of many things that have changed or have been discontinued over the years, and you would not have known about them or would have been able to enjoy them if you joined in 2022. So let's take a look back on what has been content deleted. Builders Club. Many moons ago, there was a thing called Builders Club the superior membership to what you now know as premium. There used to be three levels of Builders Club, regular, turbo, and outrageous. Their costs are tiered the same as what premium is now. However, you had to have outrageous Builders Club to join 100 groups and unlock the ability to DevX. They ended up removing that requirement later on. There also used to be an ability to buy lifetime membership to any three of these tiers which is now impossible to do. BloxCon. BloxCon was only held for a couple years, as I believe it wasn't overly profitable for Roblox at the time it was introduced. BloxCon consisted of Roblox flying out many of their employees to places all over the United States and London to hold a small convention that allowed for players to visit and meet some of the staff and get some inside information on what Roblox was planning for the future. These conventions were a very cool way of meeting players and staff. They held a virtual BloxCon as well in 2013 and 14. Roblox sales. A lot of people that remember sales miss them a lot, especially due to the massive inflation the economy has seen in recent years. These sales help control the prices on limited or limited you items by releasing new, highly desirable items into the economy. They also sometimes offered a chance to buy old off-sale items for a limited time. These sales would often force users to sell their current limiteds, thus lowering the prices for a certain amount of time just to have a chance of getting their hands on the new items. Different variety of games. Due to Roblox not being as monetized as it is now with pay to win, microtransactions, and large dev teams that are in it for the money, Games were a lot different. Most games were not as detailed as they are now, but they also did not have huge teams of 10 or more people creating them. Most games were made by a single user. There was a time when DevX wasn't even a thing. So there was no official way for devs to make money on Roblox. Therefore, it came down to that dev having a passion to just make games for fun. That passion most devs had for their game back then gave their games a special charm to them. A small community of players. This really hit differently. Seeing familiar faces just randomly as you join games was very fun. It gave almost a more homey, friendlier vibe to Roblox. This isn't something that can be replicated again now that Roblox is as big as it is. But the cool thing is, is you can still meet a lot of great people. Guests. The ability to play an incognito, or just a way for new users to try out the game. This feature was most likely phased out because Roblox really wanted users to make an account, instead of always just playing as a guest. Not many other major online games allowed for users to just play without any account tied to them. As a guest, you were only allowed to enter games and could not purchase anything. Other players would often target guests as they were often seen as mostly noobs or in other words, new players. The Easter Egg Hunt. And I do say THE Easter Egg Hunt because there used to be one pretty much every year that I can remember since the implementation of them all the way back in 2008. From the very early days when eggs would simply rain from the skies and you would have to run to pick them up, to the later days where almost each egg handed you a different task to obtain them. These were very fun and cherished times. Gear, or better yet, the usage of gear. Since gear is technically still available for purchase, gear used to be very useful. When gear was first introduced, you could pretty much take them into almost every single game. Well, now that gear isn't as well utilized, most of the items lay broken from old scripting and dormant on the catalog pages. And almost every single game doesn't allow for the user to bring in any of their old gear items. Ticks. Ah, uh, alas, the nostalgia hits deep here for me. This was a type of almost free currency 
that could simply be earned just from logging into Roblox every day, or even getting other users to join your game. You could even trade ticks in using the trading currency for Robux, usually for a rate around 10 ticks or more for one Robux. Number one, gift explosion. Every year in the month of December, there would be a gift explosion that allowed for players to earn completely free gifts. These gifts were given mostly for account achievements or other items the user possessed. These items would later open up and give the user a free hat, gear, or face. Some of these would later become limited items. Of course, making a list of just 10 things just doesn't cut it. So here's our honorable mention. Forums. Now the forums are a very interesting subject. And they probably should have been deleted long before they ever were. They caused many problems with moderation as they always had to be on top of people posting bad things, which is very, very common. But the forums also brought a lot of good. Um, with script help and allowing people to post questions about scripting and now that's found on the developers forum so it's not as necessary they also had things like let's make a deal and roblox talk and clans so there's a lot of people that were able to meet people that they probably wouldn't have met otherwise so in a way it brought a lot of people together so there were some good things but there are a lot of bad things and mainly they were very outdated for what they were they started with the platform and at the very beginning it was a very small community so the forums worked with a small community forums can definitely work with a larger community it is very hard to moderate and almost impossible to keep up with so that's probably the main reason that the forums were deleted so now you know what you have tragically missed over the years let me know in the comment section if you would like the chance to go back and change or experience any of these things on the list this has been an episode of Content Deleted. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.